everyone, my name is Jaybird, and welcome back to Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet. We're just gonna jump right into this. Oh wait, yeah, we're gonna, we're doing all the bad endings today. In that case, eat her anyway. Listen, Pastiel, I've got this walking amalgam of deliciousness all laid out, literally asking me to eat it, so I'm going to eat it. It doesn't matter what she's made of, I can't believe you just eat a person! Don't you have a heart? Do you want me to answer that? Sai, I can't see- I can't- I don't think I can deal with this, it's too much! You've already decided on this, haven't you? Fine, I didn't want to believe it, but you turned out to be a lost cause after all. Do whatever you want, I- I'm leaving. Oh shit. I know I should be professional, but come on, if you guys had a clover, you'd you, 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 you just take the time to give her kisses. Oh shit, two days later. It really does take a while to eat a person's body weight and candy, huh? But all of you taste so good. I should try to make another one of you myself. Without magic, of course, I wonder if I could do it. Imagine how much I could sell something like that for, too. Syrup! Huh? What do you care? You're just candy. Oh, I see. Speaking of friends, where the heck is Pastille? Some of his stuff is missing and he hasn't come in since a couple days ago now? I can't believe he's throwing such a huge fit over this. That kid is so fired. Sirk continued to eat the candy girl until she was no more. After countless attempts to create another, she was forced to give up when her store was closed down due to declining sales. Bastille never returned. Candible end. <laughs> I loved a candid, candidable end. I guess I'll just... I'll pick whatever thumbnail I want. But now we gotta do the frozen end. case. Okay, I see your point. I still don't like it. My mind's made up. Agree to help. How much we talking? I don't know what she's, what she's, what's she worth to you? Depending on the number, I might be interested. Say, that's horrible! We just gave her a name! We're not selling her! Syrup, you wish to give me away once again? Well, these guys don't want to eat you, so there's nothing to feel bad about. That music, though. <clears throat> Are you quite certain? We'd like to remind you that money is no object for us. Sorry, we need her here. What a shame! Is planning on leaving. Goodbye. Perhaps you come to sell your golem to us against your friend's wishes. Syrup, my seed is not so. Syrup, seed is not so. Actually, I didn't expect to run into you here, so no. You didn't expect that our family owns this library, dear. This was a terrible idea. I suddenly don't feel like it. Maybe I'll risk going alone. No way! I'm way too invested in this idea now! You have to let me come along! She can deal. Take all you can carry. And now I'm supposed to say, yeah, I hate you. I have nothing to say to you. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Was there an, any other way out? Do you think I would have come back if there was? I can't believe you'd lie about literally everything just to make yourself look better. I should have never trusted you to come all the way here with me! I'm sorry. Yeah, you'd better be sorry. You're gonna die here. We're gonna die here. All because you're too unstable to break us out. I'm not happy about it either. Yelling at me isn't gonna make, it, make my magic suddenly work, you know. Whatever. The air only seemed to get colder and colder in that cavern. Unable to re reconcile their differences, the pair sat across from each other in silence. Butterscotch was never, a was never able to melt the ice away, and eventually the two of them succumbed to the cold. Frozen end. Damn, that's sad. Anyways. <coughs> now we're doing the... Um, here's a bad end one, in that case, okay, I see your point, I still don't like it, my mind's made up, ignore him, nope, I don't feel like it, why don't you understand, I guess this whole thing was just a waste of time. Castile didn't return. Wait. Okay, yeah, this is the right one. Syrup spent a sleepless night at the front desk waiting for him to show up with the candy girl in tow to give her an earful for being so irresponsible. But that moment never came. There was no time to dwell on it either. She had a store to run. Why isn't anyone coming in? Oh, I forgot to flip the open sign. Gah, it's a cat. I see business has been slow for you today, Nya. Yeah. Wanna buy some candy? Oh, no, maybe some other time. Then why are you here? Master is always wondering what you're up to, Nya. Yeah. My assistant bailed on me, so I'm stuck doing everything he used to do. What a coincidence. We recently had a servant disappear as well. Perhaps they run away together. Figures. You look like you could use some help, Nya. I'm fine running this place on my own. So, so you were closed all morning on purpose? Purpose? Shut up! Why don't you hire me out? You can just pay me in candy. I don't mind, Nya. Um, I'm not that desperate. No way. No more new hires. This is my store, and I'm and I'll manage just fine. Oh, well, in that case, I wish you the best of luck. See you around, yeah. But running the store on her own proved to be more of a challenge than Syrup expected. Her unpleasant demeanor kept the customers at bay, and the less candy she sold, the more frustrated she felt. It wasn't long before Ulterior Sweets was forced to close down, and Syrup was left with nothing. <coughs> and no one. Excuse me, I don't even know where that came from. I haven't eaten since this morning. And a snack. Anyways, bad end one. Alright. Alright. Now we're doing the bad end two. In that case. I see your point. I still don't like it. My mind's made up. Ignore him. Hire the cat. Fine, but I'm making you wear the uniform. Do you want the paint, the pants, or the? Sh Do you want the pants or the skirt? Neither, nya. I like my own clothes just fine. This is literally the only condition to handling the f storefront. I'm not hiring you if you won't wear it. Are you sure? You look like you really need employees, nya. Ugh, damn cat. Do whatever you want. <clears throat> Toffee began running the storefront, improving sales immediately. God damn, that's a good thumbnail. Not really, but you know, it's... 
I mean, not- I don't mean not not really. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying words. It's- it's been a day. It's... it's... it's been a day. It's been a day. Syrup kept herself locked in the basement, steadily producing more and more candy, trying to keep up with the town's sweet tooth. In as little as a week, her shop had completely transformed to a place she no longer recognized. Hey, is it just me or did the vibe up here totally change? I'm only responding to the customer's needs, Nya. Speaking of which, the focus group testing has shown that we need to get in on the magical candy market. What? Absolutely not! The whole point of this store is that none of the candy here is made of wit with wit. <laughs> with magic. Master has already agreed to help out, so you don't need to worry about that part. Just let her take care of it, Nya. You're taking over my store? Oh, you finally caught on? Then I'll tell you this too. The whole reason we've been doing so well is because of magic, Nya. What do you mean? Master has been jinxing everyone to crave your sweets. The more money we make, the more candy she gets. That's, that's just messed up. Anything for Master. If you don't like it, feel free to act to quit, Nya. You won't be entitled to any of the profits anymore, though. I don't want any of your stolen money. I'm leaving. Suit yourself, Nya. Why, Pastille, have to abandon me like this? That traitor. Sir oh. There we go. That was weird. Syrup left town in search of a place far removed from magic. She resolved to spend the rest of her days in obscurity, never staying in one place very long. This ensured no one could ever get close enough to portray her again. That end too. That's sad. Of course it's not supposed to be happy. These are the bad endings. And this is the worst end. I'm gonna get the worst end right now, guys. Do not eat the cute candy girl. All right, we'll keep her. Whatever floats your boat. Take her home. She's not for sale. Supervising gumdrop. Let her help. She can deal. Take all you can carry. Yeah, I hate you. The air only seemed to get colder and colder in that cavern. Unable to reconcile their differences, the pair sat across from each other in silence. Hours passed and it was becoming difficult to stay conscious, but just before the two of them drifted off to sleep, they heard some faint yet familiar voices just beyond the wall of ice. The trail ends here, at the suspicious looking ice formation. Which means we found them, right? If they're behind this thing, it might take some time to break through. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Oh, I didn't realize you were... What happened? Syrup has awoken! Thank goodness! Glad to see you're still alive. Promise me you'll never get, go off and do something like this dangerous again? What? How did you know where to find me? As soon as I was able to move again, I rushed straight home to Master Pastille to inform him of your mission with Butterscotch! I am so sorry I could not keep the, se could cut keep the secret, but it was only because I was very worried you might end up frozen like I had been. I did not want that, want that to happen to you! It's a good thing she was in such a hurry, too. We almost didn't find you two in time. I warned you about the witch. You should have been more careful. What matters is that Syrup is no longer unmoving! I can tell you that being frozen solid is very uncomfortable. It's not as threatening for you, though. No matter how long you freeze for, you'll be fine when you thaw out again. Humans don't have that advantage. That is a very scary thought! Getting along with Syrup would be very tough if she could now come back from being frozen. You're right. I'm really thankful you were in such a hurry to come and get me. Good work, Gumdrop. 
Master Pastille is the one to thank, along with Miss Treat for being so helpful. Please don't put Miss in front of my name. Hold on a second, I've got a question. What is it? I'm pretty sure that wall of ice would have taken way too long to break through normally. So, how'd you do it? Oh, we managed somehow. Now you get some rest. We'll make you some soup, and once you're feeling up to it, we can head back, alright? Yeah, sure. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. It's my fault we almost... I mean, if not your... for your friends. Oh. Oh. Okay, apparently if I choose it's okay, I could like go on to the other endings, like the other like good endings. But I'm supposed to say I still hate you, so... I won't forgive you. You're still the worst for nearly letting me- letting the both of us die. <coughs> Shira! Oh no, are you sick? Just let me sleep it off. The spiteful alchemist closed her eyes, becoming suddenly aware of her intense fever. Oh no, I am gonna die. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm gonna die because I said that. Oh my god. Well, it's okay. Because I'm done with this game anyways. <laughs> After this. It was a pretty good game. I, I, I quite enjoyed it. Her skin felt hot, but there was a frigid emptiness in her chest. Perhaps the cold had frozen her heart? Soon she fell into a deep slumber, never to awake and awaken again. Worst end. Damn. Gumdrop can never camp outside because, I mean, think of the ants. What a nightmare. Oof. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for this game! So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed me playing this game and would like to see more of what I have to offer for my channel, then leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, die safely. Bye bye